Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay, and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet the Toria dress. All materials needed, including links to where I bought them, are on the description box below. There is also a top-only version of this dress, and video tutorial link is also below. If you prefer a written pattern, you can get them on my pattern shops. For this tutorial, we will begin from top to bottom, and as you can see here, I have already done the upper part. I will put the video link for this part so you can watch it first. Please only follow until the last 4 row repeat pattern, and then go back to this video to continue with the dress. Work your last 4 row repeat until it can wrap around your torso, and must end with an odd row. Then slip stitch to the other corner to connect. Now to begin round 1, chain 2, flip your work, shell on your first chain 1 space, and back post double crochet on your first post. Repeat this pattern for the whole round. Then finish the round with a slip stitch on the chain 2 at the beginning of the round. On the next round, repeat the round pattern but alternate the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Continue until the length reaches your waist. You must end with an odd row and after that, it should look like this. Once you're satisfied with the length, attach your markers on the outermost post on both sides and there we will work our increase. Now to begin round 1 of increase, chain 2, flip your work. Shell on your first chain 1 space and front post double crochet on your first post. Repeat this pattern until you reach your first marker. Once you get to your first stitch with marker, work a front post V stitch. Then after that, continue with the shell and front post until you reach your next stitch marker and then do another front post V stitch. Then again, continue with the shell and front post until you reach the chain to at the beginning and slip stitch. For round 2, chain 2 and flip your work. Then shell on your first chain 1 space and a back post double crochet on your first post. Repeat this until you reach your increase from previous row. Once you reach the increase stitch, work a back post double crochet on the first post. V stitch on the chain 1 space and another back post double crochet on the second post of the V stitch. Then continue with the repeat of shell and a back post double crochet and repeat the increase pattern on the other side. Then finish the round with a slip stitch on the chain 2 at the beginning of the round. On the succeeding rows, we will just repeat the same pattern on the beginning and end of each round. So on the next clip, I will only show the increase parts. So for round 3 of the increase, as you can see here, I have already done this part. It's just the same pattern as the previous rounds. Now on this increase part, work a front post double crochet on the first post. A shell on the chain 1 space. And then another front post double crochet on the second post. 
Do this also on the increase on the other side. For round 4, we will make no increase. So we will begin with a chain 2, flip your work, and then work a repeats of shell and a back post double crochet for the whole round, and then slip stitch on the chain 2 at the beginning. For row 5, work a front post v-stitch on the first post, a shell on the chain 1 space, and another front post v-stitch on the second post of the increase. Do this increase on both sides. For round 6, on every front post V stitch from previous round, work a back post double crochet on the first post, a V stitch on the chain 1 space, and another back post double crochet on the second post. For round 7, we will make no increases. So here on the increase part, we will continue with the front post double crochet and a shell on every chain 1 space.
for round 8, there will be no increase also. So we will just repeat the shell on every chain 1 space and a back post double crochet on every post. For round 9 onwards, we will just repeat the same pattern from round 6 to 8 and we will work our front post V stitch on this 2 centermost post from our increase part. After that, the increase part should look like this. If you have wide hips, continue repeating round 5 to 8 until it fits, and if it already fits, stop increasing and repeat only round 7 and 8 until you have your desired length of your dress. Once you have your desired length, it should look like this. For our final round, chain 1, then on this first stitch, work a single crochet and a half double crochet. Then double crochet next stitch, then on the chain 1 space, work a 2 double crochet, pico and another 2 double crochet. To work a pico stitch, chain 3 and slip stitch on the first chain. Then double crochet on the next stitch. And on the last stitch, work a half double crochet and a single crochet. Then a front post single crochet or a back post single crochet on your first post. Repeat this pattern for the whole round and then slip stitch at the beginning to secure your yarn. After that, it should look like this. For our edging end strap, we will work in two layers. And for our first layer, you can attach your yarn anywhere and then work a two single crochet in each rows. On this part where we joined our cups, you can also work a front post single crochet.
same stitch on this part of the back. For our second layer of edging, you can work with the same color of yarn but I will work with a different color. So I will secure my yarn here and then I will attach another color. So for our second layer edging, we will just work a single crochet in each stitch around and then on the peak of the cups, we will work our strap. Once you get to the peak of the cup, we will just work a chain of at least 70 centimeters long and then slip stitch each chain all the way back do the same on the other cup you can make the strap longer for larger sizes then continue with the single crochet to finish the edging when you're done the dress should look like this and just like that we are again done with our tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and the notification bell and of, and of course subscribe if you want more free tutorials like this. Thank you for watching!